Welcome everybody again to Bramble Tie. Um, actually, we're going to do a chat, uh, and well, you may guess where we are, and we're inside Bramble Tie itself. We're inside the house on the downstairs level, and it's actually been the area where Steve's been busy doing the entrance. Uh, we thought we'd sort of give you some more information about the house. Uh, so basically, where we are at the moment, we might be standing on a foundation, but this wasn't the original foundation, was it, Steve? No, uh, very much not. Um, we were about a metre, we would have been standing about a metre higher than this, so there was insufficient head, head height to get in um, this place under a couple of uh, the arch positions, but it's where all the animals would have been kept, so we dug down uh, two metres, and then put in the, uh, the foundations. Uh, that's the steel ring around the house, the steel ring inside the house, around each individual, the edge of each individual room, filled that with cement. And then we put the, uh, the igloo floor system in, which I'll uh, post some pictures of that. And the reason, uh, obviously, we did that is because um, when the house was originally built, animals didn't need the height that uh, people need to live in. Uh, so you had to do a lot of work during that sort of stage. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there was no stair, staircase down here. The staircase was on the outside, as you all probably know. Uh, we're going to have to put a staircase, but not in this room. That will be in the, the room aside from us. But we're just going to concentrate on this room uh, today. Yeah, and obviously the main feature in this room for us is this wonderful vaulted ceiling. Um, you know, we've got these two vaults, we've got these two arches, and they are super, um, you know, they are supporting on the pillars either side, but yeah. I mean, obviously, Steve, we're, you're gonna to have to work on we're, these. We're quite lucky for these, um, these vaulted ceilings to be preserved. Uh, I'm not saying that we've preserved them or they've been preserved um, by anything other than the original work that the craftsmen did in the day, probably, uh, you know, 250, 300 years ago. Uh, it's incredible, amazing. It does deteriorate. Uh, mainly uh, the vaulted parts, the, pe the pieces that cross over that make the actual ceiling are made from the Pianella blocks, so they're handmade terracotta tiles and what they do is in the damp, um, obviously there was no heating in here, there was no, there was no windows and doors properly, um, so obviously some of them, not all of them, have been affected by damp and they've, you know, like um, paving does in the UK, explodes. Yes. Obviously some of the tiles, what have we got, maybe 30 tiles which need replacing. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've used uh, some of these tiles that we found spare, um, which actually goes around the, the garden and just by the normal weathering yeah. outside, they've actually cracked or maybe yeah. crumbled and I mean, that's what happens to them. We've got a couple of thousand of them because the whole of the floor surface upstairs, which we're not going to have as the original floor surface for, um, for, for many reasons, is full of p &L tiles. So there's a couple of thousand up there. Yeah. Um, they're beautiful. They're a, euro, a, a one euro a piece if you buy them uh, from the, um, the yards or the builders' yards or wherever you can get your hands on them. Even if they're being sold privately, they're still uh, 75 cents you made uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> a, a pop yeah. and maybe you can get a bit of a deal on them. But we've certainly got enough um, to, to put back into the house. Yes, to, to restore and uh, do what we want uh, yeah. in the property. The two main vaulted ceilings in this room are um, in the centre are not supported as such but by a main arch. Um, this is a, an incredible part of original engineering in my view. Uh, these are all blocks which have been slightly tapered as you can imagine all the way around so there would have been a former And that's here original. isn't it? This is it here above this, my head. This arch is stunning. It's all from Myela Stone. It's, it's not a word that I use lightly for everything um, but when this is cleaned up it's, it's repaired uh, in small places, very small places, but just left completely original. These stones, like your cornerstones that you've been busy with, 
on the opening have actually got the, you know, they've got the little detail of when the men actually did them in the first place. Oh, you we can, can see actually the tools, see yeah. the mm. tools that they've actually used to carve out yeah, uh, these particular blocks. Yeah. And that's what you're trying to recreate yeah. uh, when you've been doing the, the entrance well, for all, us, all, the new all, opening. All the new works, you can learn from the old works. Um, if you look closely enough, you'll see how they did it. And really it's just a matter of, of, of copying through, if you like, learning from, from what they did. On the two voltage ceilings left and right of me, um, there above is the first part of the work we'll carry out. Uh, it, to say it's a large amount of work, is an understatement. It is, I think that's another programme in itself it's, for that. It's going, to be, it's going to be one of the more interesting parts yeah. of the work in the entire build of the house because we've, we've got to access the top of the vaulted ceiling, the curved parts, um, uh, from upstairs, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be laying down uh, what's called vitro fibra uh, with uh, inox. So that's glass fibre and stainless steel strips. That go across. They will support um, the vaulted ceiling above, and then we'll be effectively gluing them to hold the structure together um, but we're not putting, we're not using that as the original floor. We're going to be putting in the suspended yeah, floor. Yeah, but you that. actually, when you when you get to that point of doing that work, you have to build a construction across so you can physically do that work. Uh, some of but, it. But we be... are talking about this room today, yeah. aren't we? I mean, it's this room. But these ceilings are part of this room. Of course they are. And above, what you're saying were, above is important to below. We yes. can't do any work on these ceilings until we've done the work right. above. Right, okay. Because what we're doing is that now we're preserving it. Yes. That's the first time they've ever been preserved. True. And they've got to be done in a specific way because the, uh, the vaulted ceilings are balanced in the room. And what I mean by that is that the, uh, the vaulted ceiling supports um, itself, um, strangely enough, um, the vaulted ceiling comes right down to the floor on four corners and um, those corners support the entire um, uh, well, structure, uh, uh, isn't the it? entire structure. structure and as the load uh, or the, the weight bearing is put on from above the roof extra work upstairs the new floor the vaulted ceiling down here you'll never see it but it's designed to to move out so it doesn't uh, fall down. Well, so what you're saying is all the weight above is going to be supported on the pillars and the arch and everything. Mm. But these so. vaulted scenes will not be used as weight supports anymore. Right, okay, got that. Once we've preserved them. Right. On this side, once we've done the work above, we'll be able to um, look at how we're going to approach the face of the tiles. I know I keep looking above, but uh, it's... Um, it, it, it makes my heart beat faster when I think <laughs> how much work we've got to do just on these, the interior of these ceilings. These ceilings are things that people have preserved um, in, in historical buildings yes. and they're no different it, to what is we've a, got here. And I well, don't this understand is a farm, how we've got them, This is really. a farmhouse, isn't it? It's all it is, yeah. is a farmhouse. Um, I think the other thing that we haven't really spoken about in this room, we've uh, mentioned about the arches, etc. But then we've also got... Uh, the doors and the windows. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as Steve mentioned to you, that we had to actually go down to get the new foundations, which would then give us the height that we needed to, to live in this room and to fully That's function 2. in this 7 room. Meters. Right, so it's 2.7 metres that we had to go down. No, no, no. No. That's, 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 oh, so sorry. 2.7 metres that we require when, when for When we us. finished, uh, the planning requires 2.7 metres from the floor to the top yeah. of the ceiling. It would have been a lot if we'd have gone down 2.7 metres, Say everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we could have been building a cantina. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, as Steve said, we went down. We've now got the height that we require. Mm. But because of that, it then meant that the doorways were in the wrong place Completely. and that was um, uh, another piece of work that you had yeah, to do, so imagine, uh, you had to construct. Imagine we've gone down a couple of metres, we then come back up a, a metre and all the doorways were, were all, all the, the, the footstones were all hanging one metre higher uh, because we were one metre lower. Yeah. So that meant all the arches on the exterior, uh, for the exterior access. And you're going to show that, aren't you? You're going yeah. to show some photos. All that had to come out, to all that. the archwork, all the, every, I just cleared the whole lot out and basically started again because what I did know was that the, 
the curved stones for the arch doorways, uh, they wouldn't be anchored into the wall with steel. And that gave us an opportunity. Yeah. Well, you had to, a former, didn't you? You actually had a yeah, former. To that chemically, you used. What, the, what we needed to do is to chemically attach, uh, with the planning uh, rules now, uh, chemically attach the, the the framework into the wall, which wasn't previously done. No. So actually, this room at the moment has got two arched uh, doorways which are in front of where Steve and I are actually standing uh, and then obviously we've got this wonderful new opening uh, which is to the side of us that Steve has been working on you know over the past months because it's taken that length of time to do and uh, yeah it's a step by step it, though well it has you've, I mean uh, how many lintels okay how many lintels did you put in each doorway I mean they're slightly different lintels well over the course of the house we're, we're about up to 147 lintels at the moment in total is that because of the windows and the doors and yeah, everything yeah and there's, there's a few more going in so I expect we'll be up to about 170 by the time we've finished but, but above above the windows and doorways in this room yes the requirement is concrete lintels so that's got strips of steel running through it and how many concrete lintels? You know, just to give people an idea, sort of, as to the width, the width of these walls are well, we've a meter, used, aren't they? We've almost? used we've used seven or eight concrete lintels. Yes. So that's telling you that the width of the wall is eight to eight eight hundred and fifty millimeters wide in in places. Sometimes it goes to a meter down below, but obviously, um, as the wall goes upwards, it gets a little bit thinner. Mm. Uh, so basically, that's sort of spoken about the the windows, etc. But we've actually got two small windows which are actually behind us. Uh, yeah. One that will be in our kitchen area. So sort of, if you can imagine, where Steve's standing, this archway is above my head. But where Steve's standing, we're going to have that is the kitchen area. So we've done all the restoration work for the openings and the windows. Yes. And the and the, the new entrance is the last piece of this room. Yes. Uh, that's not true. There's an entrance into the connecting ah, room. Ah, yes. And which will have the staircase. Which will have the staircase. But now we've done the new entrance, we're going to be doing some nice work on the inside with the stonework. And as I just said, so kitchen is where Steve's roughly standing. We've got this archway here. We're going to have a living area here, which will then be a continuation into the terrace through the new opening. Yeah. Now that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, yes, and definitely. The the, 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 the opening is also to bring in extra light. Yes. There's a, a light requirement, I said it on the last video, it's 15% in Italy, so your rooms have to have 15% of windows and doors with glass in mm -hmm. uh, to let light in, otherwise the building won't get signed off properly. Um, so that's the other reason yeah. for getting a few more. The windows behind us, uh, the back of this building takes direct sunlight all the way through from, from March to November. Um, it gets very hot and the idea was when they built this house they put it in this position so the in this room is cool in the summer and it's warm in the winter and it does that even though there's no windows and doors yeah, in at the moment. Yeah. And um, maybe people might be asking about uh, the walls that are immediately behind you and the walls that are immediately behind me that they can actually see. Uh, you can see the, the stonework and obviously Steve's had to repair some of those walls. Yeah, all that's and been the, motor picked out that's to, exactly it. to about 12 inches deep. Um, and but that's it all, doesn't. The it, col I'm just going to say the colour doesn't look the same as what was on the exterior. It's a different type of, of lime mortar because we're not exposing it. We're not going to be exposing those. Um, the what, in essence they are semicircular and elongated now because we went down. Um, we're not going to be exposing this stone. Unfortunately, inside the house, um, because it's been left for so long, um, that part of some of the stone. Uh, is, is some of it, some of it's decayed. Mm -hmm. You can clearly see it's come from the bottom of the ocean at some time. Because but, but also the animals are there, and they uh, they it, sort of attacked it, it as well. Didn't it's, they? it's well known in the region that the animals, because they were um, the, because they were left in um, in this room, uh, and and it wasn't very uh, high for them. Uh, they could actually pick away at the ceiling with their teeth. Um, donkeys, any horses, they could actually reach. Uh, obviously get to the walls anyway but the the vaulted ceilings we've got away with it we we haven't been damaged um too badly but we do know people that have said yeah we that, went to a friend's house and yeah. they explained because we couldn't yeah. quite understand why their vaulted ceiling was actually covered and when they explained it to us it was because it was so 
badly uh, destroyed yeah. previously. So the walls here, not, yeah, the, the walls. not the ceilings, the walls are going to be rendered. Yes, but, but you've then, got to put things on there before you can do. Yeah, much. we've again, we've got to use steel uh, in some form, uh, whether it's Vita or Fibra with Enox, which is the glass fibre. Which is um, the more expensive uh, way of doing hugely it. Hugely expensive at the moment. Uh, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, it's £300 a roll. Mm. Um, and that's on a good day. And, and we need quite a few. Could well be €450 uh, Euro, sorry, Euros a roll now. It uh, depends um, how the costs start to climb down. Mm. Yeah. But, but um, if you didn't use that, there are other ways that you can actually Yeah, um, we can do use it, what's which... called steel rete. Steel rete is simply um, a rebar, which is all welded together in a fence-type shape. You've probably seen it when people have done foundations for the floors. You, oh, yeah, you can show the picture. You lay it yeah. down, and then you connect it all together with steel rods going into the walls. That's another perfectly good way of doing it, as strong as using uh, the special material, to be honest with you. Mm. So once we get to that point, we will work out what we're going to choose, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're not too far off it, so we have got to make a decision. Yeah. Um, but, that, but, but that's something you know, you'll know you see as we move along inside this room, exactly how we're going to attack And we can it. actually talk about that in much more detail. Yeah. Um, so really, is there anything else that we want to talk about within this room? I mean. We've said about the, the windows are actually quite small, they're the original windows that were here. Um, the entrance is now giving us the extra added light that we need and we required mm. to have. Uh, the two arched doorways that we've got, which are in front of us at the moment, um, the likelihood is they're going to have glass in them anyway. Mm. So that will give us the extra light that's in here. Yeah. Um, the room itself is not huge but it will be a good size a, living space. It's a beautiful room. There's just the last thing really. Oh yes. What we didn't talk about was um, the kind of finish we're going to put on the vaulted ceilings on this side. Oh yes, yes. So once we've done the repair on each of the stones, uh, so that's going to be a lengthy repair, uh, then we'll start having to very, very lightly sandblast down the vaulted ceilings. Some of the uh, stones have been joined together with plaster of Paris, some have been uh, joined together with lime mortar, and we've got to find a way of cleaning this ceiling uh, that won't damage the face of the stones. Um, where the plaster of Paris is, I don't know how we're going to do that yet. Well, maybe somebody might have already sort of tackled this yeah, particular if any, project. If anybody please has, write in and tell us, you know, we'd love you, you know, to have your opinion. There'll be a lot of um, historical buildings up and down Italy that have already done this job. Um, I would like to take advice from the best people out there. Maybe know. we should be starting to do more research on yeah. that. And once we've got to that stage where they've been sandblasted, when, then we'll go back to pointing. And then we'll refinish each stone, so that's got to be sealed. And there's, uh, there are products on the market now that uh, you can use as a sealer on each stone. And what that does is brighten that stone right back to its original colour. At the moment, they're a bit dull, um, they're a bit grey, uh, but you see the underneath what it's like when you scratch it away. But, but they, because they were handmade in the first place, each stone's got its own. Well, each PNL has got its own character. Each tile, yeah, because um, it's not a stone; it's a the, tile, isn't it? And the it? reason why we need to finish them properly is because uh, there's a. Uh, even now, if you rub your hand down the side, you'll find a layer of dust, things that have attached themselves. Mm. They they have to be clean. We don't want a room here where you look up and you you you, you can you you know you're concerned about you can't dust it down. Uh, but if we finish it properly, you won't need to touch no. this. But it, it might be useful if you took the camera as well, because there are one or two in particular that you can see the um, you know the decay yeah, of, yeah. The, of the stone. The stone and is popped. There's one or two um, yeah. above your head, which I can see they're sort of almost peeling. It's quite strange, actually. When yeah. You look what at them. What will have happened is that um, any water or any uh, humidity. Oh, may have seeped in between. All that needs to do is seep under the 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 facing edge of the stone. The winter comes along. Freezes it, pops and then the front it out. Pops it, yeah. So those stones have, have got to be replaced and renewed. And and what we've got to try and do is when we renew a stone, is make sure it doesn't look like it's been changed when we finally finish the ceiling. So if anybody's got uh, any helpful advice, comments, 
on, on, on these vaulted ceilings. Um, this fo the focus of this room is on these two vaulted ceilings. As you walk in, as everybody walks in here, the first thing they do is go, wow, you've got vaulted ceilings mm -hmm. that have been preserved. They've not been preserved. And we've got this uh, very, very special arc. You can see it um, right behind me. And that goes all the way around to the other side of the room. It's, it's immediately behind me, really, here. You can yeah. see it on the wall. And, we're, and when we put the electrics in, we're probably going to use these ceilings as a focal point to uplight, to get the light to hit the ceiling mm -hmm. and come back down. And that will give... Um, because these ceilings do close the room in quite a lot. Yeah, they do. Um, I, I suppose, really, to, to finish off uh, where we started, it's all about this room. Um, and really, the, the room has developed and matured in its look because mm. of you doing the new entrance yeah, well, and of course we've now got to consider mm. what we're going to do um, above that new entrance on the internal wall you know that Steve created uh, the keystone for the external side but now we're sort of looking at exactly what we want to do for the, the top section yeah. of the internal. I, I didn't really know whether I was capable of doing all of the work, all of this specialised work, which is specialised now. Um, but I, I certainly feel as though I can. Oh God, yeah, you've done fabulous. I I mean, think, I've used that word, by the way. No, I think but I've done enough. Amazing. I think totally. I've done, everything's been cleared by the architect. He's very happy. Um, he almost tells me we go too far sometimes, but I'm quite happy about that comment. And um, and the idea is is to is to is to see how far we can push ourselves. That's the challenge here, really, and see if we can complete it by ourselves. Because that is one of the original titles of the first vlog that we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, we we are doing it ourselves, and you know we are working hard at it. Um, Steve, you know, I, I've actually replied to people's comments and said, you know, Steve knows every single stone in this building. It's no joke. <laughs> and you do. Some have got yeah. nicer names than others, everybody. Yeah, uh, sure. Definitely, I would sure. say. But um, So we're going to be hitting uh, this hard when we uh, will need to empty this room out. Mm. And then um, we'll have the camera in when we're actually doing all the, of the work and we'll show you how all these vaulted ceilings need to be mm -hmm. supported. There, there might actually have to be another building, sort of part of the baraka might have to be built uh, to assist us with all of our storage. Yeah, for sure. I think that comes into play. That now. comes into play. Yeah. Um, so really, if you like what you've seen, then please pick, sort of tick the like box. Yeah. Um, what I would also say is, our subscribers uh, that are out there that are subscribing to us love you you've been commenting regularly fantastic if by any chance uh, you're watching us and you haven't subscribed then we'd love you to subscribe as well yeah and on this particular vlog if you could share it with people that are that perhaps are specialists in the areas that we've spoken yeah, about anybody that you might know um, that can that can help us or mm. give us any advice um, and then obviously we can consider that when we when we start to do the work. Yeah. I always know that professionals out there have got better and quicker ways than I'm certainly going to do. Um, but uh, I'll certainly consider anything anybody's got to oh, say gosh, that's yeah. of uh, totally. relevance for sure. Totally. Yeah. And um, I suppose another good thing that we should mention is um, we will be actually, because we've sort of increased in our subscriptions and everything, we'll be going on to patronage uh, shortly. We'll be going on to the patron uh, yeah. side of things. We've got to work all of that out, but. Uh, It'll be coming soon. <laughs> so actually, we're quite excited about that because that will assist us maybe a little bit more and help us on our way. So um, for from me, Lynn, from... Steve, uh, we'll see you next time. And we heard Button in the background. She's barking. She's telling us we've done enough and it's a wrap. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>